Ladies and gentlemen, DNCE is ready to move with Bennett from Most Requested Live. Guys, it's so good to see you. Uh, the whole crew back together, four years in the making, right? The first official single is out. Move, we're excited yeah. about this. Uh, how are you guys Thank feeling? Thank you so much. We're doing really well. We're, um, we're in New York City right now. We've been so excited to be able to like speak about Move and all the exciting things around the song. I mean, for us, this is, it feels kind of like a long time coming. We, we worked on some of these DNC tracks last year um, and very much inspired by the idea of what it would be like to get back together, to do this again, be around a ton of people. We just missed it so much. So to finally do this and to speak about it is a dream come true. Yeah, this song is just so contagious, so happy. I mean, it's just the typical, what you would expect from a DNC song. Uh, and you wrote it with Ryan Tedder, is that right? Yes, we, I wrote it with Ryan Tedder last year. Um, and like I said, you know, this was very much inspired after like doing like 50 tests just so we can be in the same room. And I was just like, Ugh. we both were like, you know what, let's just write a song about the days that we're all longing for to be able to be around a ton of people, not care, be sweaty and enjoy life together and where, where, where that takes you mentally. And so that's what it's about. Yeah, it's almost like you could hear that song anywhere and like just time stops and, and like you just have a party. Like, I just feel like you're instantly brought into that emotion. I I'm assuming that was that was what you were all about. That was the, uh, the method. Yeah, I mean, it definitely was inspired by so many different things, but I, I think all of the songs kind of have this nice little marriage of the, the longing to, to get out and do stuff again and um, just to feel like as free as you can be. And um, I think the music is a good reflection of that. So when you have like the time off, right? Uh, it's four years. That's not a, a short amount of time. Is it like when you guys get back together, is it like riding a bike? Are you just back in sync, you know, doing your thing or did it take some time to find your groove? We are like all ventures. <laughs> when, when we were with to uh, save the world. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> we're ready with a summer end. Yeah, we didn't really stop practicing. I mean, we, we were on tour together as well. So the Jack yeah. and Jin both play with the brothers. So it made it really easy and comfortable, a, a quick transition to playing with DNC again, because we looked at each other like, man, we just really miss this opportunity to go and, and play music live, to go and tour. And so now we're here doing it again. And, and it just feels like it's, it, it was just so easy, <laughs> just a, a quick hop. I love that. And, and you're speaking of touring, you know, we saw your video, Joe, of you on the Peloton, right? Promoting move and, and all that good stuff. And you actually spoke about your pre-show rituals, which I found quite interesting. So I kind of want to know Jack and, and Jinju, your uh, pre-show rituals. Cause Joe, you said that you, you scream really loud. Uh, someone smacks you in the face. You drink tequila, like all this. Is that all accurate? Is that true? Oh, those are all things we yes, still do. Sure. Um, we we'll probably <laughs> add it now. I mean, last night, it's quite funny. We were backstage making TikTok. So that's now, I think, a pre ritual. Um, <laughs> Jack was our choreographer screaming at us. Yeah, it was really good for these guys. <laughs> yeah, he, he really he laid down the law, but uh, the, the Jack law. Um, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't yeah, notice that Jack was like the, like the stage mom. I didn't realize that. Either no, did I. This stuff doesn't happen by accident. Yeah. You found out yesterday. Lots changed in four years. <laughs> And, and who's smacking you, Joe? Jinju, are you smacking Joe? Like, who's do, who has the honor of that? It's usually Jinju's the one that's going to be smacking. Um, but we <laughs> we uh, we were playing with Kygo last night um, for the F1 launch in Miami. And uh, we're backstage shooting this TikTok. And, and we're, like, running to the stage. But we have all these, obviously, pre-show pre rituals. So we, we found ways to fit them into, like, I think it's 30 seconds and it's very chaotic and, and, and noisy for anyone that's nearby. <laughs> Just tequila shots and getting smacked. Yeah. It's, it's a lot to take yeah. in. <laughs> it definitely uh, is. You know, you speak of tour, are, are you going to plan on, you know, doing a tour? Are you doing the whole thing or? That's the hope. I mean, we were talking about it last night on the flight home. We were just like itching to get back on stage. We, we announced our first show. We're playing Pride in DC, which will be a, a blast and always so much fun. But just to get out there and get the, get the, the show started, that's where it starts to snowball. I think we're going to look up and we're definitely going to be 
booking a bunch of gigs and usually in proper DNC fashion, not giving our fan base a ton of time. We'll be like, hey, tonight we're playing a gig. Um, <laughs> so you never know. I mean, just keep keep an eye on our socials because we'll, we'll we'll be letting the fans out there get 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 some sort of heads up. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned TikTok. We definitely have been noticing you're more active on TikTok. We saw you dancing to Lizzo, of course. And and what your music, what DNC music does to us is put us in a feel good mood. I'm just curious, what artists do that for you? I know Lizzo kind of puts us in that in that realm as well. Are there artists out there right now that inspire you? Absolutely. Uh, we're so inspired. I mean, I think uh, BTS is doing an amazing job. They've got great hits. Um, some of the newer artists that are that are coming in from TikTok, I mean, like you said, Michael, like we're just like on TikTok finding these new musicians. I've signed three acts just from that platform alone. So constantly being inspired. And um, I think it's interesting how people are using this these new platforms and finding creative ways to, to snowball their careers. It's just fantastic. Absolutely. Um, I want to go back to you writing the song with Ryan Tedder because Ryan Tedder, he's one of the most fascinating people I've ever got a chance to interview. And half the music you hear on the radio, he's had a hand in. I was just kind of curious, is there a song for you guys that you love so much that you're like, man, I wish I wrote that. I wish, man, I wish I was a part of that. Yeah, I mean... Uh any Adele song that he's written <laughs> sure, <laughs> or yeah. Beyonce song uh, for many reasons. But um, I mean, look, I, I think there are, there are always songs that I hear um, that I keep going like, oh, I wish that was us or like good for them. I mean, I think even Ed Sheeran, you know, he, he wrote a song, a, a visiting hours that I just think is phenomenal, um, a heartbreaking, beautiful song. And so, when you lose somebody and you think about that idea that you could, I wish heaven had visiting hours. It's like, that's genius. Well, there he goes. Ed Sheeran doing what he does. He's a genius. <laughs> He's a genius person. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, I, got, I have to mention it because I saw you at, at the Met Gala and I was just always so curious as an outsider, what happens at the Met Gala? I have theories. Do you guys just walk the red carpet? You go through the door and then there's like an exit and you go into like a limo is everyone like dressed up in, fa in fancy outfits to eat like pigs in a blanket? What, what happens? Can you tell us? <laughs> um, it's actually just a big meeting of entertainers. You sit in a circle and then you just, you plan the next year's Met Gala. It's just all it is. <laughs> um, no, we actually, um, it's really fun. It's, it's, it's a celebration of art um, of the Met. It's when you walk in, there's just, it was, it was incredible. There's, oh, excuse us. The phone's ringing. I think it's my postmates. Like, <laughs> right, right when you walk in, there's just an electrifying. Hold on, it's like, and hold for a second so we can make sure it's all taken care of. Yeah, what do you guys order? Okay. Anything good? Got some sweet greens coming. Nice, uh, nice. So anyway, yeah, you, you walk in. There's music. You're you're greeted by the the chairs that year, and then there's a beautiful dinner, incredible performance, some speeches, uh, a proper <laughs> proper gala, proper ball. And so it was, it's absolutely beautiful. I appreciate you letting me know. I, I feel like uh, I'm a part of it now. Thank you. Uh, I've always you next <laughs> I had all these fantasies. Uh, uh, some of them can come true for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Move is out. This song is just so electric and so contagious. Congrats on this song. Is this one of Thank many you. more to come in the near future? What's next? We plan on releasing a song like every few weeks. We're not going to be too precious oh, wow. about this. We're going to be speaking to you every uh, week and a half. So just set your calendars. Um, Perfect. We're, we're pretty hyped. We got a bunch of stuff, an album, some, some would call it an album's worth of songs, but we're just like, let's just put these music, these songs out and keep the people interested and excited. I love that. I'll have my Sweet Green order ready for two weeks from now. That'd be great. This interview has been sponsored by Sweet, Sweet Green. <laughs> <laughs> it has. They don't know it yet, but. Yes, it's gonna be in, great. The in the Met In the Met <laughs> Hey guys, always a pleasure. So good to have you guys Thank back you. and putting out music you. again and, and Move is, is a special one. So uh, thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank good you. to see you. Thank you. Talk soon.